Hi amazing people, welcome back to another sewing tutorial. In today's video, we'll be learning how to make this trending stretcher bony sleeve. So if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet, please kindly do so by clicking on the subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon for getting notification anytime I upload a new tutorial. To my old subscribers, I say a big thank you for returning back to watch my videos. So guys, as you can see on the table here, I have with me a satin fabric for the illustration. I have with me interfacing, feasible interfacing. You see the shiny parts is what I'm going to be ironing on the fabric and this uh, interfacing helps the slip to stand firm and also with me here I have a scissors for cutting paper and then a scissors for cutting fabric I have with me a marker, a pattern master and a pattern paper measuring tape and I have with me two types of boning this one is the plastic one and it's the hard one. We have them in sizes. This is the size I have. And this particular one, you cannot sew on it. You sew some like a casing to pass it through. And the other type I have, I have another type in different sizes. This is a small size. It's called the Regilene Bunny. I'm going to use this size and this one is the sew on you can sew it on the fabric this boning gives the sleeve the structure to stand when you are wearing it i'm going to use my mannequin to show you how to measure the sleeve so let's go to the mannequin now so guys first you place your tape measure in the center front of your brows and then you take it to the shoulder like so so that's from the center front you take it all the way to the center back like so so here let me say I get almost 19 inches so let's go back to the cutting table I measured from the center front of my mannequin to the center back of my mannequin which is 19 inches so i added two inches making 21 inches so 21 inches divided by two is 10 and a half i'm going to be using this pattern paper to be drafting the sleeve and after i will use it to cut on the fabric so i fold this pattern paper into two and I fold it again into four. So now I'm going to be taking four and a half inches for the height of the sleeve on the shoulder side. I got 19 inches in total, plus two inches is 21 inches. So 21 divided by two, ten and a half inches. I'm going to put on the width. Ten and a half inches, and then on the center front, I'm going to be marking two inches. I'm going to connect the two inches with my straight ruler, and then I'm going to cuff it. Let me use marker so that it will be visible. This is just a simple sleeve. It's easy to make. It's very simple and easy to make. It doesn't take time. I took four and a half inches for the height on the shoulder side. And the center front and the center back because I fold both together. The center front and the center back, I mark two inches. Then I connect it straight and I connect the down part in a curved way. I'm going to cut it now. Now 
this side is going to enter the center front and the center back like so so what i'm going to do now i'm not going to leave this edges pointed like this i'm going to run it a little bit this shine is i'm going to be using to be cutting the sleeve i don't have extra lining i'm going to use this satin fabric for both the main sleeve and also for the lining so guys i finished cutting the fabric for both pieces i cut for the main sleeve and the lining i'm using the same satin fabric for the sleeve and also the satin fabric for the lining and the interfacing i'm going to iron the shining part the shining part is going to go to the wrong side of the fabric so guys i'm taking it to the ironing board to iron the interfacing inside and be back so guys i finished ironing the interfacing in both fabrics both the main one and the lining the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to attach the boning on the main fabric and i'm going to use this one for the main fabric i'm going to be attaching the boning like so all around the edge like so and i'm going to leave about quarter of an inch to turn the lining i'm going to be stitching it up here also stitching it down here like so and leave it quarter of an inch to turn the lining out so guys i will leave a link on the description box to show where i got the boning from i'm taking it to my machine and sew along the edges and come back and show you guys so i finished attaching the boning you see the structure effect it has given it already it's looking elegant the next thing i'm going to do is attach the lining like so i'm going to be using this quarter of an inch allowance sewing allowance i left here to stitch the lining throughout and then stitch the bottom side and after i'll come and show you how to turn it inside out so guys i finished attaching the boning on the sleeve on both sides so the next thing to do is i'm going to turn it inside out through this place because the edge is too small it's difficult to turn it out from here so i left some inches along the edge to turn it inside out so guys i finished flipping it inside out and i'm going to give it a good ironing and come back and shut it so you see after ironing it how neat and nice it looks you see how i stand on it huh? now i'm going to put it on my mannequin to show you how it looks so guys this is the final look on the mannequin this is the front side and this is the shoulder side and this is the back look okay so glamorous and guys you can add some trimmings to beautify the center front you can put it at the back like this i'm going to pin it down to see how it will look with the trimming so guys after pinning it i attach the trimming to it to see how it will come out and it looks very nice very beautiful very elegant you can also choose not to add trimming but to just stitch it on top of the cloth like that by hiding the edges the rough edges so we are 
come to the end of today's tutorial. If you find this illustration helpful, please like and share with your loved ones. Thank you for watching. Bye.